Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here as Bitcoin scares the living daylights out of everybody and puts in a rally in all the bears face. We're going to take a look at what those bounce targets are. We'll check in on some of our altcoins and who's the darling of the market. Yep, that is uh, going to be Mr. Nvidia posting some earnings today. Um, let's see what were the in I guess um, it was a pretty easy target uh, da, 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 da. earnings earnings I'm sure they beat their estimates Nvidia post record revenue 265 percent up 265 percent on their booming AI business so let's take a look at some of the all some of the AI coins, see what they're doing today and see if the good old, if it's going to be a buy the rumor or sell the news event, starting it out with good old Bitcoin here and making a rally attempt um, off the green 55. And I would say this is pretty much its last chance for glory on the four hour time frame. So what do I see here? We've got uh, volatility which was above 25%. So this could be the bear trap or the bull trap. Uh, bull traps come in at the 0.5 or the 618. So unless the four hour can get back above 52,162, um, then pressure is going to be on to the downside, at least on the four hour time frame. The daily, uh, typically, you know, we're going to have the daily close here. Uh, that is a pretty bearish candle. So unless we get a massive rally here, that is kind of a topping signal. Topping signal. Uh, interesting chart to note was the NVIDIA Bitcoin chart. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Kyle Dupes on this one. NVIDIA. Oh, should we say BTC NVIDIA? BTC NVIDIA. Well, I guess I can't. Um, or is it NVIDIA BTC? NVIDIA. NVDA. NVDA slash BTC. Anyways, it was a interesting chart comparing uh, NVIDIA priced in Bitcoin. Um, and uh, anyways, it seems like Bitcoin tends to rally um, at this point based on that chart. I guess I'm not going to see it or show it today because I don't have time. I don't have time to look it up. I'm just going to run right through these charts and say, look, if we close anywhere like that, it's a bit of a snake eyes formation. Big red candle, uh, big red hammer candle. And we did talk about the daily level to hold being about 50,000 um, bucks. We have not closed below or above. So I would say tomorrow, any kind of a closure back above this pivot at 53,000, likely Bitcoin starts to descend. Um, you know, any kind of a tick below today's low and uh, some of those lower term targets uh, we've been talking about for some time probably do play out. Let's see if I can pull up anything on the good old volume profile. Oh, I'm not gonna pull that up as well. <clears throat> I'm not gonna pull it up. I'm just going to say from a wick basis, if you are looking to buy the next major higher low uh you'd expect it to come in somewhere around this zone here and in bullish trending markets the 382 is going to hold so you know first opportunity for a bounce at the 382 not 0.5618 and back below the 236 and it is lights out for mr bitcoin um so you are going to see that 200 day uh, exponential moving average slowly rising upwards and onwards as the days go by. I can't even believe it, but the month of, I mean, we've had six straight months of upside price action. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and closing it off with a low volume monthly candle. So nothing to speak about there. Weekly, two week, two month, all still bullish technically and still gonna remain bullish as long as very similarly to back here, right? Look at that snake eyes formation. Um, started with a red candle and then we got a blue. Um, this one, we're getting a blue and then a red. Blue and then a red and uh, starting to print out that uh, bearish divergence on the daily time frame. How would you confirm this as a local high? Any kind of a closure back below 50,700? I will mark that off and that very likely does initiate some, at least a downside test, you know, a test around 47 to 49,000 is completely fine, but this time is gonna be different. This time is gonna be different. Why the Bitcoin having countdown calculator? Bitcoin having countdown. The Bitcoin having countdown is uh, right upon us here. Yes, indeed. The Bitcoins released into the market is going to be cut in half from six and a quarter to 3.125 Bitcoin. Anyways, um, you know, short term, it's completely fine for the market to have a little pullback. But um, I think the route of the most pain is people are getting more bearish. I did see this in a bit of a short squeeze on high block capital here um, if you haven't checked them out i don't know where my high block capital link is but um, you can get some kind of a discount and go sign up for free or whatever the 60 percent off i mean pretty good deal liquidation levels that's what we want to look at is the liquidation levels no i don't want to see this don't show this People are net short right now. So first basket of liquidity, those 100X leverage traders getting taken out right now. Short bounce and then the 25Xers are up here at 52.7. And that is the line in the sand, I believe we said on the four hour chart. Uh, it's probably, probably going to send if we can get back above that uh, God, did we say 52.7? What is that? Yeah, 52.7. So above there is likely going to uh, release us to the upside and short squeeze in play and they're gonna go grab all that liquidity up there before sending it to the downside. People are now net short on Binance, um, which is the largest exchange for perpetual volume, et cetera, et cetera. So getting into some of the altcoin uh, super guppy plays here. Fetch AI having a big post here today on the four hour. Nice, massive green four hour candle. And how high can she go? Let's see. Fetch AI, um, you know, targeting the one, 127 mark. Still probably in the cards there on a daily time frame, This one is in a blue sky breakout and uh, who knows how high they are gonna go. AGIX just keeps on climbing up. AGIX posting, because uh, God knows even what they do, right? How is it an AI coin? What does it do? No, it's just an AI coin. The name is AI and it's gonna go up. That's what's going on with that one. Um, checking in on Neutron, one of our favorites here. And um, after, you know, putting in a nice rally, it's okay for it to pull back. And again, where did the bullish pullbacks come to? To 382. Bouncing it off on the first pass. Um, and really, as long as we are above the green 55, you know, I'm going to remain bullish on this one. I want to check in on this Astro port, which has been touted by some of the big wigs out there. Um, you know, coming into a, uh, a bounce region off the purple 200. I'd expect a bounce on the first pass. Let's check in on Solana BTC. Coming in for a critical moment here as we are now getting multiple closures below the green 55 and 
that's on the daily time frame. You see momentum is, yeah, it looks like Bitcoin uh, set to outperform Solana unless it can get back above this pivot at not point not not two two zero five. So don't be looking for your Solanas to outperform Bitcoin in the short term. Uh, checking in on XLR, putting in a nice new all time high. And uh, from the looks of it, it probably has more to go, um, more to go. Well, where would your base target be? Just a little bit tire. Uh, 141, 141. If it is going to bounce any kind of uh, close below the nine, probably going to roll over a bit more. And then just going down the list here on some of the other notables. Um, ICP, um, we did say, look, this one, you know, may make an attempt down in this zone. That I would look at as a major buying opportunity. Um, but what's happening on the four hour right now, bouncing off the purple 200, very similar to Bitcoin and um, is going to have a chance to mount another attempt up at the upside, up at the upside. Injective, another one we've been keeping a close keen eye on as when this one does break out, guys, uh, it's likely to send very similarly to what Rune is likely to do. Rune also looking uh, quite bullish here with the breakdown retest. Still looking for a little bit lower on this one as it wants to suck a few more bulls in before it spits us out. Getting a nice bounce off the not 0.5. I'd like to pick more up on at 463. That's the area I'd, I'd be looking for uh, a major reaction if it doesn't get it right now. Uh, injective, again, just consolidating in a range and literally as long as we're closing above the 26 mark, you know, it's upwards and onwards. Could it fill down a little bit more? Yes, but um, I'm having a feeling that we're gonna range a bit more and then explode to the moon, kind of like Cass did, right? So Cass, Cass uh, put in a very, very long consolidation on the daily time frame, which is not showing on this chart because I'm looking at the perps chart, which doesn't have a whole lot of price history. Let's look at the spot chart on Bybit. That's what I'm talking about. So very similarly uh, to Injective and to Rune, this one consolidates sideways and down for, you know, a very long time. And now we are perhaps putting in our first drive of bearish divergence. How do we want to see a, a confirmed drive, which would give us a drive down to the 21? I'd say any kind of a daily closure uh, below the nine right there. You can see volatility is now waning. And either this is going to tick back up or it's going to get kicked back in the teeth. Um, where are the major buying opportunities going to be on this one? Well, first major buy right here. And probably looking for a retest of that zone at 14882. 14882. Um, just something to keep your eye on. And um, that would be a breakdown retest level. And then, yeah, um, you know, this is gonna move upwards and sideways. But what I'd like to see is the BBWP to regain that exponential, flip back up, and for this one to get one more pop to the upside. What kind of a target could you be looking at for Mr. Casper after this massive breakdown? Excuse me, break up, break up. <laughs> after this long of a consolidation, one of the strongest altcoins in the market um, using our daily range from the high to the low on a candle body closure basis. Next target up here. And I'm ultimately looking for the parabolic blow off top target to get hit at about 29 cents. Um, which if we go back to the first major rally, I'm not sure if this is going to, yeah. Look at what happened when this thing got lifted off, broke out, pulled back to the nine and then bang. Right, broke out of this daily range, pulled back to the nine after hitting the two three six. Sorry, the yeah, the two six one eight. Pulled back, 
bang all the way to the 4236. So what would that look like if we're gonna get a similar, if we're truly in the alt season? I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. More conservative look right there, not using the wicks, right? And um, yeah, that would be a little bit, a little bit of a bang higher. Someone to keep an eye on Dave. Shout out to Dave, my trainer. Um, I was at the gym with him, just getting him involved in crypto. And I said, hey man, let me show you how to put a trade on using Mexi, one of our affiliates, one of our top uh, exchanges that we love because of the user experience. There's a link in the description below for Mexi where you can take these trades. But I said, hey, let me throw a trade on for you. While we were at the gym, I was like, boom, boom, Cass. And uh, he did 75% on that trade. So far, so good. And then another one, 100% in two weeks. So um, that is the power of crypto for all you CD holders out there. I think with that, I'm going to leave you off with that. AVAX getting a nice bounce off the green 55 with declining volatility. That is when you expect those bounces to happen. And that's looking pretty, pretty darn nice. Ocean, same thing. Injective, same thing. Bouncing off the green 55. Adam, the Adam bomber, which has been a slow mover. Slow mover, slow, slow, slow mover. What I do like about it here is that uh, I think we have reclaimed the mid range, which is gonna be right here. Nope. Tagging the 618 and rejecting. Mid-range, mid-range on that daily consolidation. How about a weekly time frame? Do we have anything better to look at here? So this massive consolidation, we want to see it do something like this. I want to see the weekly close above. So we got the first week bounce, putting in a higher low. So higher high, higher low, nice W formation down there, which reminds me, CRV, probably gonna finally see the light of day again here. And uh, I should probably build a little position on this one. Mr. CRV, CRV is in Victor, V is in Victor. Oh, we did post a nice little trade setup there. Looking for a little bit more on this one. Up to the green 55 would be nice. Reclaiming the range uh, after some deviations, I guess, below here. And if you would consider that the bottom side of the range, right? We got, you know, multiple deviations below. This one's probably going to rocket ship. Boom. Oh, kick back out. Boom. And I'd be looking for this one ultimately to make its way up to 122 at a minimum, then 142. And if it's worth its salt and the founder hasn't completely lost his house and get liquidated and all the rumors and the crap that's surrounding CRV disappear, much like they have for Solana, then wow, I think there is some massive potential there. Guys, if you did enjoy this one, make sure you smash the like button, drop a comment below, share it with your friends, your family, and I will see you in the next one. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day.